opportunity to work with all of the Reggio classrooms, I've noticed a huge change in the way students interact with each other due to the nature of the collaboration that comes with the Reggio approach. The students see each other as valuable resources. They are able to cooperate and to critique constructively without hurt feelings. I think the socialization aspect of this approach is going to have lasting positive effects on these students, not only while they're at School 33, but for their entire lives. I like working with my group because when I don't know nothing, they help me. School 33. What I like about the school is we can learn stuff on our own and we, and we could use different supplies and go to the art studio. When we have both ideas, we, we share the ideas together. Our students studying under the Reggio Emilia approach are demonstrating an ever-increasing ability to communicate through spoken, written, and visual language. We did a series of experiments to make efficient solar cookers. We work together to invent a lightweight deep pressure vest as a therapy for people with sensory issues. Inquiry-based learning is a teaching method in which students gain knowledge and skills by investigating or responding to a complex problem which inherently develops 21st century skills. At its core, our teachers develop real-world learning experiences around an open-ended question for our students. These learning experiences are focused on important knowledge and skills derived from New York State standards and key concepts at the heart of academic subjects. Through reflection and revision, students create authentic products to make their learning visual. The 
It's fun to work in groups because if you make a mistake, your partner can correct you. Working on projects is fun and you get to learn more stuff. When you work in groups and you don't know what to do, you can ask a friend for help. It's fun to work on projects because you learn how to follow directions. I like working in groups because you can get help from your friends. I like doing projects because you get to experiment on things. Co-teaching, a professional instructional partnership, enables educators to more readily determine students' strengths and weaknesses, to deliver instruction and assess learning more efficiently, and to tailor activities to the exceptional needs that some students have. At the same time, co-teaching provides professionals with a sense of support, that is, the knowledge they can blend their expertise and share the responsibilities of educating their pupils. Data-driven instruction has been a key process to guide instructional decisions. Analysis of data, especially common formative assessments and other classroom assessments, has been crucial to identify who needs extra help or who needs enrichment so that instruction could be differentiated. This is our first year of our dual language two-way immersion program, which was recommended as best practice by the Center of Applied Linguistics in Washington, D.C. In our first year, our pre-kindergarten classes included English and Spanish speakers who engage half their classes in Spanish and the other half in English. Children are immersed in both languages and cultures as we develop the Common Core Learning Standards. The program will expand to kindergarten next year as we strive to become biliterate by the fourth grade. What do you speak at home? Spanish. And what do you speak at school? English. Wow, can you tell me what color is this? Yes. What color? Purple. 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 Ahora quiero saber qué color, qué color tenemos aquí. So, ¿qué color es este? Um, no. Verde, muy bien. ¿Y qué color es este? Amarillo. Amarillo, muy bien. ¿Qué color es este? Azul. Ah, excelente. ¿Y qué color es este? Rosado. Rosado, muy bien. ¿Y qué color es este? Rojo. Muy bien. Gracias, Hunter. Gracias. Hunter, quiero que cuentes conmigo cuántas piezas tenemos. O cuenta. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Ok, muy bien.